Okay, it's Wednesday and I'm out here in the garden again. Um, I brought down some tree rings that I think I'm going to put around these guys just because those these work great when the trees were little, but they don't have a slit in them, so I'm going to actually have to slide them all the way up and over. And these come in parts, so I'm going to replace that little makeshift one and this one with actual tree rings. Um, then over here we have the strawberries, and we're getting a couple a day. Yeah, just enough. Like I said, lots of butterflies. Oh, here's one. Oh, something nibbled on it, so the pigs will Pig will love it. Anytime they're nibble on, I just save what I can. And then, and if we've let them go too long, see like that one's starting to get yucky. And this one's starting to get yucky. RJ hasn't been down here to harvest in a couple of days. The pig will love these. So, um, they might not be perfect, but the pig loves them just the same. So we've got this. It hasn't been watered tonight. And we've got lots of butterfly pollinators. I don't know what kind of butterflies those are. But, and the wind is, oh, it's Blissful, blissfully wonderful keeping it cool down here. Um, Ashley, one of our interns, has taken this old compost pile that's been growing grass and she went and gathered a bunch of uh, dandelion seeds and just kind of smeared them over and watered them in. So this should be a dandelion garden. Um, dandelions make great herbs. Um, the leaves go in salads, the flowers can be eaten, so, um, yeah. The other day I came out here to teach some kids about the dandelions. There wasn't a dandelion in sight, so we're going to make our own little dandelion garden right there. Should be something I'm good at, right? Because they grow anywhere. Alright, so this is where I'm super excited, okay? My little tomato plant here is getting huge. I'm going to have to stake it which I never thought I'd ever have to say that, but it's going to have to either have a tomato cage or a steak or something <clears throat> because it's getting uh, big and beautiful. And it's even got some some little blooms on it, so that means I'm going to have tomatoes, right? I have blooms right there. Yeah, see right here? And I have some down in there, so yes. Um, the lilac is got flowers on it. Rosemary, I don't know. I finally just put some dirt in there to soak up all the water. We'll see. I watered a whole lot less. Um, we have the little greens of catnip right here, which is what's supposed to be in here. But then we have all these mystery things going on around the edge. Um, these are the bell peppers that I tried to save, so we'll see how they go. And I don't know what that is. Um, I can't remember what we planted in this one that I didn't take. So. <laughs> Another mystery. You like that? I reuse too fast then maybe. I don't know. Um, this is the time. We've got a plant here, plant here, plant there. Um, there's another one. Whoops, dropping strawberry. Another one right there. And then we've got a uh, squash plant and another squash plant. What kind of squash? We don't know. Now, this right here, I am super duper excited. Um, we've watched this grow. And it's obviously some kind of squash plant. It hasn't put out any runners or anything. But look. There it is. There is one. And I am going, to, if I have to guess, I'm going to say zucchini squash. So if that is a zucchini squash, then I'm pretty sure that is too. Now, the big question in my mind, and I've contacted a couple people that I haven't been able to get on the phone yet. How do you tell if they're ripe? Yeah. All this hard work to figure out how to grow things is pointless if you don't know when to harvest. So now I'm going to have to start figuring out when to harvest things. Tomatoes I'm pretty good at. Strawberries I'm okay at. Um, of course here I sit with some in my hands that are left too long. But yeah, that's RJ's thing really. The strawberries are for him. So um, anyway, then, oh, let me go over here. I'm going to put these in my little wagon here and yes I have a wagon and I'll put them right here Miss Piggy will enjoy them um, I had a friend of mine give me two uh, elderberry plant or she actually gave me four but I split them with the no water garden um, the community garden and here's the reason why okay it's not that I don't appreciate them or whatever. And here they are. 
they're, they're a little wilted. I moved them over, and we're going to water them in real good. Here's my two. She gave me four. Now, I'm not a great gardener, and we all know this, but everything that I have done in this garden this year has been split with the community garden. That means if I fail, there's still a 50-50 chance that I can get at least another bell pepper or another cucumber to harvest my own seeds and that's my whole thing is I don't want to have to put hundreds of dollars out in plants we first started gardening I bought all kinds of plants put them in the ground and they died okay that didn't work so then I went to buying seeds and that hasn't worked so I'm trying and my point is is if the community garden can help me buy they get the seeds they get the kids get to grow things there the, the kids that won't make it out here and they get the benefit of the fruits of their labor they get free seeds to start with and then all I ask in return is if mine don't make it can you harvest some seeds and um, let me have some seeds for next year to try again so that works in my favor kind of sorta okay so if you remember last week I was given some bell peppers and the rabbits got out here and kind of stripped them I put two in that, those containers over there not doing too hot but I continued to have faith and water the ones that they had bitten off and they have little things on them look this one too little leaves coming up and that one over there <laughs> the, this one I don't know how I missed it but it was down to two leaves this one and this and then this started to come in so maybe I'll have bell peppers I don't know um, this little guy right here is some kind of voluntary something it matches that one over there so I'm gonna say probably watermelon don't know for sure that that's what it is and this right here is something the kids planted it came up in the um, barn <laughs> so I moved it out here again mystery I really really need to work on labeling with these kids just saying um, they don't really label anything we try but we don't get it all labeled and I've ended up this year with more mystery fruits and vegetables than ever so now this right here and I'm super excited I'm strategically getting my feet where I need them to be so that you guys can see these are the dragon's eggs uh, cucumbers so and I am like I said strategically placing my feet here um, this uh, these are the this one right here is watermelon and this one is the loofah gourds but if you look right in here look <laughs> that is a dragon's egg cucumber now they will turn white so I know when they turn white and they're big then it's time to harvest them so I have no question about when to harvest them they will look they won't be yellow they won't be and the texture of this right here is really spiny so it I think they told me it would be smooth when it's ready to harvest so I should be okay with those and there are a ton more blooms if every bloom on this thing makes a cucumber oh my word I'm gonna have cucumbers everywhere which I'm okay with that if that's all I get I'm okay with that because see oh wait there's another one Ta -da! I'm growing stuff guys Yay! yeah okay I'm sorry excited but anyway if you look there's a ton of blooms a couple of little uh, cucumbers forming I'm super super excited about that um, very happy so then over here at the same time I was given the bell peppers that were over there I was given honeydew melons and if you look they are growing by leaps and bounds and we have blooms on them as well so I am super excited about that this guy I keep stepping on him I wish it would go that way but I haven't seen any gourds on any of these um, vines and this is the loofah gourds that I was going to use at the farmers market and sell with my soaps um, so I'm hoping it, there's no blooms on them there's no anything I I don't know how to tell so pretty much I'm just hit and miss and look for them when I can if that makes sense so all right 
And there was my little trek right up here. Look at this. Now I did kind of move this guy over. I want this to climb up here. And so I just kind of put the string on this side so that they will bind up this trellis. And the reason we want that is because we're making a teepee. This is our teepee. The kids like to come in and I use the push mower in here and flatten this and then they're covered with whatever. Last year, sorry about the wind. Last year it was the gourds, the um, bird feeder gourds. This year we're hoping that it's the climbing spinach. So, and the funny thing is, oops, sorry. we already have like flowers on it. I don't know if it's supposed to do that until it gets big. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm working on it. So, of course, strawberries. We've had some more come out of here. And there's more blooms down in there, too. So, we're getting a ton of strawberries. And this, after this year, will be moved over to that other um, strawberry bed. So, yeah. These are huge plants. They're definitely a little bit older. Um, the basil is starting to take off. Some of them. I say that. Some of them. Now, here's the deal. Is I have noticed on this side they're paler and they get more sun than this side over here. So I don't know. I really don't know what they're supposed to be, to be honest with you. There's a little cantaloupe. It's holding on. Our tomatoes up here. I don't know. <laughs> you like that? That's my answer to a lot of things. Is I don't know. So we keep them watered, keep them going. Um, this thing right here, I'm gonna have to find a better way to do this because it's really the wind is trying to lift it out of there, and because the cucumbers have all grown onto that one side, it could possibly do it. And I don't want it to break the vines, so I'm probably gonna have to stake it down. But look at all these blooms. Now these are not the dragon's eggs cucumbers. This is just regular cucumber cucumbers. And so far, I stick my head in here and I have not seen any actual cucumbers. Um, well, I take that back. Maybe, maybe. I see one. Nope, that's part of a leaf. Oh, nope. We have a little one. Looky here. Woohoo! We have a cucumber. A little dinky cucumber, but a cucumber. So. We're getting there. Oh look! There's another one. They're, they're just small. And I water every morning. So this plant really does get um, quite a bit of water. And it dries out so fast because it's in this tub. So that is one thing that I found that um, the tubs, I'm going to have to watch how much I water. Because it takes more to do the container gardens. Uh, it, I don't know if it just dries out because it's not in the ground or if it's because I didn't put hay down in there. I, I don't know. So we shall see. And you can see see that trellis move. It's making me wonder. RJ just said to duct tape it to the side of the thing. I don't know. But we'll figure it out. My only concern is, and this is um, if somebody knows anything about it, if you look, these are really green leaves. And then down here, these have started to turn really pale. So, I don't know... I don't know what color of green the leaves are supposed to be. If this is normal, unhealthy, what I can do to change it. I, I don't know. So, but they are grow. And I have like two little dinky cucumbers in there. And I'm happy. I'm, I know, so much excitement. And then my poor little pear tree... Or pear tree. It's a peach tree. And as my peaches get bigger, look at this branch is just inches off the ground. And it's because it's so loaded down with these peaches. And I am tickled to death. Of course, they're not ripe yet. But hey, that's okay. I'll keep waiting and waiting and waiting until I can wait no more. Okay, I'll wait until they're ripe. But anyway. And then, up here, if you look, our green apples are definitely starting to get a little bit bigger. And they're coming on strong. Little dinky ones, but they'll grow. They'll grow. 
And even here on this tree that I thought didn't have any, if you look way up there, there are some apples too. So I'm pretty excited about that. And then over here, we have a few pears. Look right in here. Not great, but considering the fact that these um, fruit trees have not produced before, that's a good thing for us. I mean, we're just happy to have, even if it's just two or three pears, you know. But if you look way up there, there's like five or six that we can see. So I will be after them. And then this February, we will be pruning these things once again. So, and this tree is going to have to be cut way back. It's way out of control and no fruit. So now here's my question to all of you fruit tree fruit tree people does this one not have fruit because that one over there is it same like these two are red apple trees these two are pears those two are green and those two are peach and they're across from each other so is it because that one isn't doing so good and can't pollinate that one but I don't know that I've ever seen blooms on this one I don't know so um, yeah, if you got any hints on that, let me know. It is huge, and it is going to be cut back quite a bit this next year for the simple fact that I don't want it getting that tall. Um, I'm going to top all these trees. Um, I've talked to the master gardeners, and they're pretty sure that I can do it no problem. Shouldn't hurt these at all. But these branches are just so thick through there that I don't think any sun is getting through there either. But on the upside, RJ and I have decided that this spot right here would be perfect for a hammock. It's just amazing. So, all right, that is the update for the garden for this week. Let me know how to find out if my zucchini is uh, ready. Uh oh, there's my lovely, I don't know what you call it. He's my son, but he's my call to come on, mom, we got other things to do. So, I will talk at you guys later. Bye.